Aubrey, and last summer I bought a pirate ship. She's a 51 Formosa. Previously on Sailing the Lone Star, we tackled the hydraulic steering system. This week, we get into a few things in the name of holding fast. And I get up to my usual brand of shenanigans. Hello and welcome back to Sailing Miss Lone Star. I am so happy to see you here this week and it's going to be a fun one. It's been a long road between where I started and where I am now and finding this pirate ship that I love so much. She is getting closer and closer to the water by the day and we have been working so hard and we're so excited and I cannot wait to show you. Woo! Schmancy, wow. Thank you very much, Mantis. We're gonna be sleeping well because of you. Oh, wow. This was on me. Holy smokes, that's big. So we just put in the aluminum bushing. Hands are all nice and moisturized. So I actually am not really confident that this is actually going to fit up here. So that's why we do this today, so we can start planning. Okay. This project is going to need modification, so we're going to call our friends at Mantis Marine and order a fancy new bow roller for what we have dubbed the Screaming Eagle. We have so many things to do. Oh my gosh, we just started this list. Let me show you. It's in our room here. Um, so this is just the beginning of the list. These are some of the things we have to do before we get the rigging up, and uh, we're going to fill this in after dinner. Out with the old and in with the new. Switching out keel stepped mast plate. So we're gonna need a crowbar, which is always scary when you need to use a crowbar inside your boat. Yeah, so it had two screws and I think the rest of it's just like 5200 sealant. And, uh, and it's been slightly tabbed in, so I might have to use a multi-tool, might use a crowbar, sledgehammer, jackhammer. Flamethrower. Flamethrower. This is not going to be easy. We're going to have to bust out the multi-tool for this job. Your I, favorite. I don't like using multi-tools or any sort of tools inside a boat because now we're going to have fiberglass dust and everything. So this is what I'm thinking. Because of the fiberglass issue, I think that we need to put a pin in this, come back to it tomorrow, and I think tape off some of the stuff. So there's a mattress above me, and there is a little girl's room behind Searle, and we don't wanna get any fiberglass in there. So I think what we need to do is prep this room for some major surgery. So we're putting that one in. But first we need to take this other one out. It's pretty gross. The old wooden spa. Yeah. And there was no coin under it. Gonna pull out your prize. Alright. Kent is back. 
and he says he has a surprise for me and it's stainless steel. I asked him if it was a kitten, he said no. Do you like our engineering on this? I love it. It's, it looks it, really it good. It doesn't look big enough. I think you guys are going to drag anchor. Kidding. <laughs> oh my god. We got a mother of all. We got a new bow roller coming and it's going to go off the end of the bow spread. Wait till you see what's in here. I have a surprise. Can you say <gasps> crow's nest? Whoa! Oh yeah. This is what every pirate wanted back in the day. Ah, oh, so cool! Oh my gosh. Fantastic. Oh yeah, can I test it out? Okay, here's my crow's nest. I asked for a wooden wine barrel and Kent said no. no. <laughs> so we've got this. So what are we going to use on the floor? Well, I think instead of a wine barrel, I'm just going to drink wine in it. So the crow's nest was built by taking a section of mast to them. And then they could figure out... The bolts will pull it together nicely. Yeah. And oh. they said this can squeeze up a little bit. Yeah. They kind of made it a little fat. Okay, say ahoy! Ahoy! ahoy. Alright, now you need a monocle or a monopod. I wonder if I can... What could go wrong? Okay. I could get stuck. It's not working. It's okay. not working. Oh well. All right. Well, you little pirates, you've got your crow's nest. Mom, what if I fall off the side like this? You're not going to fall off the side because we're going to tie you to the mast like what about Bob? Remy also like a walk too. All right. I am about to get into the keel step and so the keel step, we're trying to figure out what to call these things. We keep going back and forth. So uh, the mast step for the main mast is keel stepped and the mizzen mast is deck step. So we're trying to communicate with one another on what goes where and when to do what. And we're always messing up the names. And I used to, and I still do, I kind of get like a little like, oh, why are people so wound up about what to call things on a sailboat? It's so pretentious. But it is helpful when you're trying to communicate quickly to know exactly what part of the boat you're talking about, like grab the halyard or grab the sheet line, not grab the rope. So anyway, I digress. I am about to paint bilge coat on the, it's not the bilge area. I don't even know what to call this, but it's under, it's going underneath the main mast and we're touching everything up with white because we want to see where leaks are and we also want to seal up any raw fiberglass just to protect it and prolong the life of it so i'm going to get in here with total boat go ahead and bilge paint it we have loved this bilge paint they're an amazing company so definitely check them out all right i'm gonna get to work deck stepped and the main mast is keel stepped so on the deck step we are going to spruce up the wood up there and make it ready and prepared for the new mizzen and we're going to do the same for the keel stepped main mast and we're going to remove the old deck plate so there's a plate underneath the mast and this one is adjustable which means we can change the rake of the mast and the rake of the mast is how much it tips the rigger and uh, Selden we didn't quite know exactly how raked it should be so we're going to take a look at that once the rigger gets here and the masts are up so it's adjustable at this point so we're going to replace the static plate with an adjustable plate so we're going to pull the old one out and get ready for the new one which is pretty excited so let's get started on the mizzen so this is going to be our new mizzen plate for the mast deck step pretty exciting and this is the old wood one and we're gonna remove this plastic and we're going to treat it so that it is ready for this piece let's get going Oh, stop, it is, stop, stop. 
This project is far from a necessity, but it's on my short list of things I don't like to live without on a sailboat. I got onto eBay and I ordered two 55 Lumar winches and I am so excited. They are self tailors. There's a couple things that I really don't like sailing without. One is autopilot and number two is self tailors. Can you do it? Yes. Do I want to do it? No. <laughs> so we got these beauties. Let's see if I can lift it up. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that? Oh. All right, let's get these installed. Oh yeah, that's sexiness. And we'll probably service it and do all that stuff now. Okay, so these guys came with these backing plates because these can be changed into, do you want to show them the bottom? Electric winches later. So that'll be pretty cool. But for now, these go here. And you can see that Although there's a little tiny slight hangover like the one I had this morning. Just kidding. So I am pretty excited to get these bad boys in. We're going to have to go over to Worst Marine, I mean West Marine, and get some hardware. Then we're going to have to get the sheet lines that attach to our head sails big enough to go into the little clampy part that makes up for the self-tailing winch portion of your winch. Name that sailboat part trivia. Captives. And the whole thing is going to be funny because we have to remember how it goes. Is that funny? Is that the funny part? Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay look at that. Ooh, now she's naked. Ooh, hey girl. Looking good without your dress on. I guess I can... Oh, it looks pretty good actually. Looks really clean. Looks like they must have serviced them before they sold them. Yeah. Now I can leave you the good, fun job of getting your handle greasy. There you go. Okay. <sighs> and that's how she installs. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Spoiler alert, they work great. If you want to see what I'm doing in real time, check out my daily show. The link is in the bio on Instagram. Behold, two men taking power tools to my teak. If we hadn't have tried what seemed like everything else to get the traveler up, I would have vetoed this idea. Keep it with the same angle. In the end, after an epic battle, the poor gal submitted and gave us her old traveler. At which point the guys redirected to a much more peaceful project. That pushes it off. Now I can reach From the Pacific Northwest to the sandy beaches of Costa Rica, we have really seen a lot and we have met some amazing, cool people along the way. And man, have some of you guys just really, really helped us. When you didn't need to, you didn't have to, you just did out of the goodness of your heart. And I have to tell you that the spirit of a sailor is what keeps me out here today and what uh, keeps me doing this. Um, it's different than living in a neighborhood. We all show up for each other. And I just want to thank you guys so much for showing up for me each and every week here on YouTube and out there when I see you on the water. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time on Sailing the Slow Star. What's going on here? I feel like I should have worn gloves. <laughs> I think the dog looks just like Yoda. <laughs> Kroger. <laughs> oh shit, this isn't washing. Oh my god, babe. You you really up. You really up. Quickly get What do I do? Get your jewelry off. What do I And you gotta wash this dog now and that is gonna stain the marble. Oh, it's gonna stain the marble badly. <laughs> this is an outside thing and you messed up. How's that prank working out for you? 
it's not great. <laughs> okay. Was it worth every step of the way? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I don't know how long it's gonna take for this. Yes. But why we. Did you put permanent hair dye in my dog? <laughs> no. Mom, why didn't you get stuff that's not permanent? Okay, I'm more concerned about why I didn't put gloves on. Mom. Da 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 da. Hey, how do you feel about having a green <coughs> sister? <What the> <coughs> no, no bite.